Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First things first, I'm now at 7,000 subscribers. Yeah, all right. Thank you guys for subscribing and I hope you continue to enjoy my videos and leave your suggestions and support me as usual. 7,000 subscribers, let's go. Oh, all right. What's gonna happen when I get to like 10,000? So we're trying to get to 10,000 by the end of summer guys. So that's August 31st. I need you guys to help me, all right? So raise your glasses with me. Kampai. Yeah. All right. Might have a drink. Now let's get straight into the video. Quick thing this week. Okay, so this issue came up last week with Kim Kardashian, but now it's, I guess, resolved. But just to be straight to the point, Kim Kardashian is a social media whore who fight me on that. Listen, she knows how to stay relevant. The Kardashians have built their name on being relevant and creating drama and the social media in the social media age. Now with this move that they recently tried to do, uh, trying to patent and trademark the word kimono for her laundry brand or laundry line or underwear line, call it kimono, was a stroke of outrage marketing genius. It was because you get the attraction, you get persons talking about your brand, and you make an apology a couple of days later and you seem like you're good hearted and you, were, you sincerely made a mistake which you, you didn't you planned it i i sincerely i i know in my heart of hearts that the kardashians schemed and planned this the right way now what's interesting is that japan loves people taking on their culture but you must pay homage to them in kyoto they have foreigners they allow foreigners to wear their kimonos and yukatas and stuff and take pictures because oh yes you love japanese culture and you, you know you learn about japan and get to love japan and whatever whatever fine the mayor of kyoto wrote a letter to kim kardashian saying hey don't do this because we are actually planning to take the kimono traditional dress of japan to unesco to protect it as a world heritage protect it under the world heritage site or world heritage symbol or whatever they whatever the wording is for it but you don't take someone's culture and then t try to profit from it especially when it's not your culture if i if that's not culture vulturing and i don't know what is <laughs> right and it's funny that you know their fave kim kardashian is, is white but not really white but you know the weeaboos must have been losing their brain because they, they don't know oh my god how could you know kim kardashian you know do something so foul i you know like i knew she was just not really into really japanese culture <laughs> so i was really just like it's whatever because white people do this all the time they take cultures <laughs> they take from culture remember when kim took the whole corn roll things and they call it braiding or whatever french braids or what not some nonsense and it says it's an urban style but when black people used to do it it was seen as ghetto pretty much the same thing uh so kim has kardashian west has said that um she has you know considered it and taken all things on board and her brand is about family and culture and so she's going in a different direction yeah right shut up because he planned all this out all along. And this is the new marketing strategy. It's called outrage marketing, where you offend a certain group of a set of people. They talk about it on social media, share your link or your ad campaign or whatever, comment on it and it goes viral. Then you issue an apology later down the line and everything becomes okay because of our short attention spans in this social media era. Burberry did something like that with the, the was it the, the blackface? Prada did something like that outrage, the, um, the African-Americans as well. And so on brands have decided that this is a way a cheap way to go viral you know what i mean and i think blooming days was the first brand to do it taking a scene similar from the blurred line song by robin thick and then saying drop something in the eggnog while your partner is not looking or when your friend is not looking which is you know blurred lines is like was a controversial topic at the time so yeah first you outrage black people but and then they've moved on from black people now to outrage the japanese so yeah Japan has announced that they are going to commence whaling after 30 years of not doing that. I guess they decided the whales have repopulated enough so they can go back in and start killing them again and, and stuff like that. But I have seen in my time in Japan, Kujira meat or whatever being sold. So I don't know. Whale meat being sold. So I don't know when did they actually stop or is this more of a commercial thing? No, no one's going to. All right. 
yeah so that's pretty much it right <laughs> all right so right now many hospitals in japan are being left to foot the bills unpaid bills of tourists now as a result of this, the Japanese government has been trying to have run a campaign to promote the use of travel insurance and for tourists to get this, whether in Japan at the airport or through their companies or travel agencies. 50% of tourists that come to Japan do not have the required travel insurance. And most of them say they don't really need it because they never thought about it and they didn't think they would get sick and whatever. So healthcare in Japan is exp expensive for the serious, unless you're paying health insurance. Uh, so... For instance, if you get a heat stroke in Japan, that can run you up to 600,000 yen for heat stroke. And if you break a bone, it can cost you up to 3 million yen. 3 million yen, 3 million yen is 30,000 US. That is for your perspective, my friends. You break a foot, it's 30,000 USD. Wow. But as a tourist, why would I even pay a hospital bill? I come with a limited budget of like 1,000 US. I get sick. And that would be all of my budget. I can't travel to go back home. I have to leave in two days after being hospitalized for three days. I leave on the fourth day when I get discharged. I said, okay, I'm going to come back soon. And I'm on my flight and I'm out of here. And yeah, so with that being said, hospitals are going to find a way to recoup the money somehow. And it's going to be on the person that's already living in Japan, which we need to stop. Because guess what? I'm already paying enough in health insurance. Uh, what else? well it's a short news week and that's what all i have for you guys today uh if you'd like to see some other things uh promote your events in japan let me know and i'll put it up okay so for my 7,000 subscribers giveaway i i have two sweaters black with the waru pan all right the papa and the brand i have a small and and the medium sweater and i also have a black dad hat all right so here are the rules for the competition you're going to go to warupan underscore official on instagram follow them like a couple pictures and hashtag pdg 7000 okay pdg 7000 and from that page they will select um three winners we we'll select three random winners and we'll contact you uh leave it We'll contact you and arrange on how we're going to send you the packages. Thank you guys for watching my channel and look out for another types of Japanese kids video dropping this Friday. Okay, guys, so please, it's going to be crazier than the first one. All right, so look forward to it. See you guys. Big up yourself. Oh, Saturday, July 7, there is an Inde American Independence Day celebration uh, happening. Lattice Kitchen is putting it on. Check out the page on Facebook. Check out Lattice Kitchen on Instagram. Uh, her cooking is fire. May I tell you? Mad. Also, at the end of July, there is a brunch. A yardy type brunch that's happening at Sabrosa. DTS to follow. You know what I mean? Please support the Jamaicans that are out here. Alright, and also on the apparently on the 7th of July, which is a Sunday. Jaja Star is having their Young Bloods DJ competition qualifiers. It's by R Lounge. It starts at 6 p.m. Entrance is 2,000 yen. So this is the qualifiers for them to eventually play at a Dream Weekend in Jamaica this summer. All right. So check out that juggling competition. If you want to get some good food, check out Lattice Kitchen event on July 7 near the Shin Otsuka Station. The flyer is somewhere about the place. Just check it on Facebook or Instagram, please. Roman Base having an event again. In July at Wayno Park. Check that out. Oh, also I'll be performing next week in Zushi Beach. Um, July 13. More details to follow when I get more information. I'll be doing an acoustic set, so please come out. It's like a reggae beach party. So yeah, what about things? I'm working on a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys follow me on my journey and support me. Continue to support me as you have been. Alright? I love you all. Peace. We're gone. For real. We're done. I am finished speaking now. Yes, I've spoken a lot. Well then, bottoms up.